and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. I am hopping on here really quick to do a quick and simple explanation on the word budget. Budget, guys. Budget, budget, budget. Budget, 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 budget. Budget is not a bad word. I need you to know that. Budget is not a bad word. Budget becomes a bad word when you allow frustration and or fear to set in when you're trying to manage your money or your numbers, okay? That's when it becomes a bad word to you or people may think that budget, just the word budget, is a bad word or something they want to try and avoid because they feel that a budget allows you to have restrictions on your money. Meaning, if I budget, I will not be able to do X, Y, Z with my money. That's kind of the way that a lot of people's minds work when it comes to hearing the word budget or even sitting down trying to do a budget. So I am here to be the bearer of good news. Budget is not a bad word. Actually, budget is the best word you could ever hear when it comes to your money. You want to have a budget when you are um, trying to get your monies together in an organized form so that on Friday when you get your paycheck or whatever day of the week you get your paycheck, you are not looking on Monday and saying, oh my God, what happened to all of my money? You know, that's the reason why you need a budget, okay? A budget has been a lifesaver for me throughout my life. So, let's back up. Let me tell you what the definition of a budget is. A budget is a method that an individual can use to organize their incoming paycheck or just your income in general. So basically whatever form of income that you have, you will utilize that income to organize it into blocks of what you plan to do with it. So what I mean by that is, for example, in a budget, you get to create different holding sales for your money, paying for your necessities or your expenses, traveling, taking up a hobby, paying down debt, traveling, taking up a hobby, paying down debt. Do you hear that every little phrase that I just mentioned was not a bad phrase? It's not being restrictive. You can also put in your budget a category for buying clothes you know whatever you want to do all of that is encompassed inside of your budget so it's not restrict it's not being restrictive it's saying hey let's take this pot of money and break it down into categories where we want to see our money go, how we want to utilize our money. So that's basically what it is. For a lot of people, or a lot of um, financial gurus who are out there, the, the, I think one of the main reasons why people think that budget is a bad word is because of the way that these gurus come off with it. And what they typically say is, you need to set up a budget so you can pay off this debt. Yeah, 
I would think that budgeting is bad too because I'm going to relate budgeting to paying down debt only. But no, that is not the way a budget work in totality, okay? Yes, paying down debt is a part of your budget and it should be a major part of your budget. I'm here to tell you that it should be, okay? But it is not all parts of your budget. In my budget, yes, I have debt. I do have debt and I am paying my debt. That is a part of my budget. However, I still travel, okay? I still have hobbies. I have three teenagers that's going to need my money in some form or fashion. You know, I have saving accounts. I have investment accounts. All of these things are a part of your budget. So please, 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 get that out of your head that the word budget means something bad okay so here's what i am here to say i do have an a little acronym that i wrote out for the word budget okay so and these are going to be some uplifting enlightening positive words okay so for the B, you can interject whatever you want, but the, this is what I feel I wanted to put down to try and add some positivity to the word budget because it is by no means a negative word. It is going to save your life when it comes to your finances, okay? It's just putting your finances in order so that you can be able to utilize it over the long haul. And it includes several different Categories, like I said, paying down debt, saving money, investing, hobbies, whatever it is, traveling, whatever you want to do, okay? So that is what a budget is. But the first letter is uh, B for me is making better choices with your money. Remember, you get to make choices with your money. So you get to do what you want with your money. As it relates to me, better choices would be to um, try and budget for my future. Because my future, um, there are some things I want to do in the future that are, are a little bit more important than my present. But that's what I choose to want to do with my money and that's my budget. So that's that. Utilization, the, the letter U. Utilization, meaning you are able to utilize your money to categorize it in certain categories so that you can continue to fund those categories and continue to do what you want and need to do with those monies. Does that sound like it's negative? Not to me. All right, the letter D, determination. That means that you are determined. That means that you have to do you have to be a little focused. You have to put a little backbone toward this budget. It's not just going to magically appear out of the air every week, every month, every two weeks, whatever. There has to be a form of determination. So in other words, you need to set some goals so that you can be determined to do that budget every week. Next is the letter G, getting a handle on your money, self-explanatory. Because like I said, sometimes you can get some money and or a paycheck it can come in one day two or three days later you don't know what you spent it on where it went so g get a handle on your money e explain task and or duties for your money or of your money so in other words give your money a task okay don't let it just be floating out there because before you know it some bank or some Amazon um, company is going to nicely float it right on up out of your checking account. So you need to make sure that you um, explain task for your money, okay? Make sure you give your, um, your money a duty or a task, okay? And stick to that. That's where we fall back on the determination. Stick to that, okay? And last but not least, the T. The T is for time for me. It Once I have my budget in place, 
um, then that gives me more time to do other things and I'm not feeling that fear of, I mean, that um, emotion of fear and anxiety. I am fine. I know what my money is doing so I can better utilize my time. So those are the letters that I have set aside. I mean, that is how I kind of break down the word budget and that is how it is beneficial to me. So let me know what you think about the word budget. How, <laughs> do you see it as a evil, bad turn, you know, or do you see it as a positive turn? I really hope and uh, am motivating you here, hopefully on this video, to see it as a positive term because at the end of the day, the word budget is a positive term. It is there to make sure that your money stays on track for whatever purposes it needs to serve, okay? And in those purposes that it needs to serve, there could be some wants. Hopefully, there are some needs, definitely. But yes, so that's just my tidbit on the word budget. Please don't look at that word as a negative word going forward, okay? This is all I have for this video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you in the next one. Peace.